Hi there, I'm Tiffany Rodriguez from the Ghana Revenue Authority. This week, we focus on the Customs Training Program. You'll hear how 72 Customs Offices recently graduated from the Customs Offices 1 Training Program, what some of those graduates have to say about completing the training, and why building the capacity of the GRA's customs is important. Focus on GRA begins now. Liability certificate is typically requested when applying to other agencies for specific services offered, such as pension benefits, gratuity, small business bureau, firearm license, etc. Simply complete the liability application form and submit it to the liability desk at any GRA office. You must indicate the purpose of your application. You should receive your liability statement within two to four working days if there are no outstanding tax returns or taxes owed. Applying for a liability certificate is free of cost. GRA, your partner in development. Welcome to Focus on GRA, a program of information for taxpayer education. 72 Customs Officers recently successfully completed the Customs Officers 1 course. The graduates were charged by the Commissioner General of the GRA, Mr. Godfrey Stacia, to walk proudly in their uniforms at a recent graduation ceremony. The 72 graduates made up of the 2021 and 2022 batches of officers received their ranks of insignia to mark the successful completion of the Customs Officers 1 course. Giving the charge at the graduation ceremony, which was recently held, Commissioner General Godfrey Stacia encouraged the Customs Officers to be professional when undertaking their duties. Walk proudly in the uniform. Do your work. Be confidential in your approach. Don't give out your information. Under the Revenue Act, if you give out information, it's wrong to dismissal. Right. As Mr. Biko said, and the chairman said, look, facilitate trade. But that doesn't mean that our, there must be on the take. You can have friends. No harm in helping friends. But when you get favors for the help, it's a problem. So, what I would like to say is that this is just the commencement or the beginning of an upward progression. And all you have to do is to move on, have the thirst for knowledge, do your research, do not be afraid to tell your supervisors when you think they are wrong. You should know the law more than your supervisors and actually more than your managers. The Commissioner General stressed the importance of continued capacity building at an individual level. You should be proud of this moment. You should be happy about it. And I, I wish those who would have actually been unsuccessful, that they must continue to progress. The Commissioner General also complimented the Comptroller of Customs and his team, as well as the trainers of the course. The graduates also received a charge from the Comptroller of Customs, Excise and Trade Operations, Rohan Biku. There are times when you're normal, the things that you've learned, you will have to think outside of the box. There are people out there trying to smuggle, who smuggling, it's that, that's their full-time job. They would always come up with innovative ways and ideas. Smuggle means not only on the road, like what enforcement is trying to, tra um, to, to, to trap, but including the wharves, the airports, with your documents. We went to great pains to train you in valuation, classification, and origin. And unless you know those three and know it at the back of your hand, that is also a form of, of smuggling. Commissioner General alluded, indicated uh, just now that we can do better. Of course we can do better. Of course we can do better. And these are some of the steps that we are taking here, equipping you with the tools so you can help us to achieve those goals. The customs officers received congratulatory wishes from the chairman of the governing board of the GRA, Sais Narayan Kaulasar. You know, capacity building is, is something we desire in our, in our country, in our community. And training and development will enhance our, our self-worth. It will enhance the worth of our organization and as we contribute to, to the development of our country. You know, knowledge is power, and but it only becomes power 
when it is shared. And I'm sure the knowledge that you would have gained, you would share that knowledge with your colleagues, you would work consistently, you would work steadfastly to bring glory, to bring glory not only to, to the customs department, but glory to the GRE and glory to our beloved country. Meanwhile, best graduating officer of the 2021 batch, Ray Stanton, in his thank you remarks, urged his fellow customs officers to remain unwavering and dedicated when carrying out their duties and responsibilities. The value of knowledge imparted by the Guyana Revenue Authority bestowed upon the great responsibility that should only encourage us to become shining example of proud ambassadors. The best graduating officer for 2022, Rafiq Khan, also expressed his gratitude to the GRE for investing in the development of its staff. I'm very pleased to be in attendance here today. The actuality of me standing here before you is a manifestation of my inclination and conscientiousness in my line of duty. I take pride in my work and it's something I thoroughly enjoy. We are embarking on the next step of our career with unique skills to meet unique challenges at a unique time. It's therefore imperative for us to continue to conduct our duties effortlessly and execute the mandate of the Guyana Revenue Authority with grace and brilliance. The GRE will continue to build the capacity of its customs officers in 2023 to ensure the effective administration of taxes and trade facilitation. In 2023, the authority will commence the customs officers two and three courses, as well as the customs house broker training. The Customs Officers Training Program was recently updated to ensure officers were equipped with the necessary knowledge for effective tax administration. Fabian Klaus spoke with some of the graduates to get their feedback on the updated course. With a mandate to administer the country's tax, trade and border laws and regulations, as well as regulate the oil and gas sector for tax purposes, the Ghana Revenue Authority's capacity building for customs officers remains a priority. In this respect, the authority's signature customs officer training program has been updated and amended to make sure that the training modules delivered corresponds with the functional knowledge necessary for effective tax administration. The customs officer training program for this year, 2022, a collaborative effort of customs and the GRA's human resource management division commenced on July 5 and concluded on September 9. Some of the top achievers shared their experience. For me, failure is never an option. It was one of my goals to have this opportunity to be a part of the program. And since I was given this opportunity, it was a privilege to sit this exam. I was determined, dedicated to do my best. I had to multitask my day-to-day -day duties and responsibilities at the work while focusing on my online Zoom classes that we had every day. For me, knowledge is power. With the experience and knowledge I've gained throughout this program, it has shaped me into becoming a well-rounded officer. As an officer, I am more confident in the way I address customs related matters. The knowledge I gained from this program has also equipped me to apply myself better in my day-to-day -day duties and responsibilities at work. I am able to work, I'm able to get work done in a more effective and efficient manner. As a result, this would enhance the productivity in, Gain, in the Guyana Revenue Authority. I was nominated for the Customs Officer 1 training in 2022 after a selection procedure in order to expand my skill set and understanding of Customs Law Chapter 80201, regulations and SOPs for every department surrounding customs functions and activities. I dedicated all of my time and effort into completing this course, and I was successful in doing so. During the course, I was exposed to topics I was ignorant of to carry out my responsibilities as a customs officer. One, I intend to use the knowledge gained on a daily basis to better serve the members of the public while being effective and efficient. On a personal level, the program taught me to be disciplined. It also helped me to improve my communication skills, which is needed when working together as a team. In terms of work, this program has widened my knowledge of different areas and departments in customs. And now if I am transferred to another unit in customs, I have the required knowledge to function effectively. After completing this program, 
I have gained a clearer comprehension of the functions and rules of customs, as well as my duties as a custom officer on a technical basis. Moving forward, I will use this knowledge gained to perform my duties to the best of my abilities. Studies in international customs organizations, such as the World Customs Organization and the World Trade Organization were also facilitated, along with documentation relating to financing of international trade, goods in transit and transshipment, costing trade, tariff structure, classification, valuation, and rules of origin. And finally, Chairman of the Governing Board of the GRA, Mr. Saison Ryan Kaulasar, believes customs is a key cog in the GRA, especially when it comes to the collection of revenue. The changing dynamics of the country's economy means customs officers will have an important role to play in the development of the economy, he adds. Carlita Edwards has more. Chairman of the Governing Board of the Guyana Revenue Authority, Saison Kaulasar, pointed out Statistics show the customs, excise, and trade operation of the Guyana Revenue Authority contributes an average of 36.2% to the country's revenue. Over the years, customs has been a key cog of the overall function and role of the GRE in financing almost entirely the nation's expenditure. Addressing customs officer at the customs officer one graduation ceremony, Mr. Kaulasar noted customs is poised to play an important role in Guyana's quickly changing economic landscape. The customs function is such as such has traditionally been responsible for implementing a wide range of fiscal and budgetary policies and its fiscal and its focus includes revenue collection, trade compliance and facilitation, interdiction of, product, of prohibited substances, protection of cultural heritage and enforcement of intellectual property laws. The role of customs, however, has changed significantly and will be even more dynamic in the years to come with the advent of oil and gas in our country and our new status as an oil producing nation. So today we are in the cusp of great and exciting new developments. The International Monetary Fund projected Guyana's economic growth rate for 2022 to be 57.8%. This dynamic brings new opportunities and challenges for customs officers, Mr. Kaulasar pointed out. Customs officers will now have to play a tremendous role in this new dispensation, he added. As you are now placed in your respective work roles, I trust that you would not abdicate your responsibilities, but rather with competence and a high degree of professionalism, perform your tasks assigned with the greatest of respect for our stakeholders, our taxpayers, and all your actions and inactions, as the case may be, will be in strict adherence with the ethics and principles which you would have garnered from this training. And that at all times, your conduct and your conduct and comfort will be of such that the name of the GRA is respected so that your agency, this agency, can become the, flag, the flagship agency for performance and high standards of discipline, etc. And that is all for this week's Focus on GRA. To find more information on customs, you can visit our website, gra.gov.gy. You can also send us your inquiries via email at grapublicrelations at gmail.com or taxadvisory at gra.gov.gy. And don't forget, follow us on our social media pages for up-to-date tax-related information. Thank you for watching. I'm Tiffany Rodias. Until next time.